Ladies and gentlemen, a wise man once said that in order to beat the best, you gotta be the best, and the best is blessed. That man is the guy right beside me right here, the legendary former featherweight champion of the world, Max Holloway. How are you, man? I'm good, brother. How you doing? How you I'm good, doing? man. I'm good. So, uh, first question I got for you right off the bat, man, is how are you? You're uh, going up to 155, the weight cut's not gonna be as bad. Just like, how's it been? How's the mind? How's the health? I've been good, been good, you know? Uh, like you said, man, 10 more pounds is helpful. Uh, you know, everything looks the kind of same. We kind of keep it the same, though, how we would go to 45, so it's 10 pounds more, so the cut is still there, but um, I got to enjoy a lot more food, so life's good. For sure. You know, I was looking at your YouTube channel throughout with all your progression and your training and everything, and that's kind of what I wanted to know is, uh, has, was there any huge differences between, like, a fight camp at 45 and this fight camp? Yeah, uh, we added a little, I, I feel like I'm pretty strong for a 45er. So we had a little more, a um, little more strength training for this one, like trying to get our power up, but not only get our power up, but actually get our speed up too, because we don't want to give away speed when we get up here. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, just physically, mentally, I just feel good, man. I feel like we're in a great spot. I feel like we did 55 right this time, and um, tune in April, April 12, uh, April 13 to to find out and see for yourself. For sure, man. I mean, like 155. You, like you said, you're eating a lot better food and everything. It's less hard of a weight cut. I mean, do you feel like you're, you're gonna go back down to 145 after this, or is 155 something you think about? Okay, I might just stay here a little longer. I really want my 45 title back, boss. I really want. You know, I, I really got some unfinished minutes there, but. At the end of the day, in this game, you know, first things first is Justin Gaethje, but if I get my hand raised come Saturday night, bro, I mean, options, you know, I mean, to have an option is good in any situation, and I think we all can agree. For sure, man. Now, something that you said on your YouTube channel that I thought was real interesting is, uh, in another life, you'd be a gladiator. And I remember when Justin Gaethje fought Michael Chandler, what he said in his post-fight was, in another life, I'd be fighting to the death with the Coliseum yeah. and everything. Just how exciting is it knowing that you guys got you got two fighters with that same mentality of just like a warrior spirit? Uh, a lot, you know. I mean, everybody asks me, what is a word that, one word that they describe this fight with you and Gaethje come UFC 300? And the word that comes to mind is violence. Violence, man. You guys are gonna see violence and, um, it's gonna be a beautiful thing, man. I, I, I cannot express enough. If you're trying to get people, new new fans into MMA, make sure they tune into UFC 300. Not only our fight, our fight is like a guaranteed, but from the top to the bottom, man. Former champs, current champs, this card is stacked. For sure, man. I did want to uh, talk to you about the card, man. The fact that it's UFC 300, historic pay-per-view card. I mean, you're going to be one of only a few fighters to say, I fought at UFC 300. Just like, what's the excitement level there? Crazy, man. Exciting, you know. Like I said, I, I, I missed UFC 200. I couldn't get on that one. My man DC said that he told him that he didn't want me on the card. He used his weight to not get me on the card, so I got a bone to pick with him again. But, uh, you know, UFC 300 is... is, is so awesome. I'm not going to be around for UFC 400, so this is history. This is the history books, bro. When you look back at it, they're always going to bring up a UFC 300, you know, and uh, I'm just, I'm blessed to be a part of it. For sure, man. Man, you've been calling out DC for years, man. Something's got to happen there. Yeah, man. Baddest man on the planet, you know. We go out there, we get the baddest, we get that BMF belt, you know, add that to my collection, and then I'm going to call if I get my hand raised and everything, I'll call D I'll call DC out for another time, get him out of retirement. We can fight at any weight, you know, because a lot of people think so that I was joking about the weight thing. But I'll fight DC at any weight. We can fight for the baddest man on the planet once. He's already is second, you know, he's he's literally the number one contender in it. So I would love to uh, fight him for it. Good to hear it, man. Now, that's something I want to ask. Should you win the BMF uh, championship, whatever weight class, 55, 45, is that a belt you want to defend down there? Yeah, I mean, why not do both? Yeah. Why not do both, you know, so, but first things first, I got the highlight in front of me, so I'm focused on Saturday night making a blessed highlight and, uh, you know, shocking the world. For sure. Uh, so, you, we're talking about two high-level strikers here. Like, you obviously one of the best strikers of all time. Justin Gaethje, someone who is well-rounded in that department all the way up, but you got underrated grappling. Is there any part of the fight, any part of the game plan you think is going to cause the fight to go to the ground here, or is it just straight up, standing up? You know, I'm a BMF, and this BMF belt hurts us on the title, bro. So, at the end of the day, it's just violence, you know. If the opportunity comes, it comes, it happens, but, man, it's, I want violence in there. I want blood, so, 
It's gonna be a fun one. Man, I just saw like I think it was just only an hour ago they just released the floor of shirts, man. Uh, what you think, man? You finally got those floor finally, shirts. Finally, man. Finally I got my floor shirt. Shout out to UFC, shout out to uh, Dana White, Hunter Campbell. Shout out to the fans. What about you guys? Uh uh, we would have not got this, you know. So next, next, next step is uh, USA White. For sure, man. Uh, I got one more, one more question, and I've always wanted to ask you this because I know Halloween you dressed up as Chainsaw Man. So I gotta ask you, man. Top three anime. What do you think? Top three animes, uh, Naruto for sure. Cool. And number one. Oh, number one. Okay. Yeah, and number one for me, yeah. for me at least, and you know I mean for me. I got that. Uh, I like Jujutsu Kaisen. I think I put Jujutsu Kaisen at three. Dope. And then I like Assassination Classroom at two. Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's one that not a lot of people expect. Yeah, yeah. yeah I like I, I like Slice of Life ones, brother. Yeah. Like I like I like Slice of Life anime. I like a lot of Slice of Life anime. So, uh, Devils of Part Timers, that's a good one. But I like the action. Like Jujutsu Kaisen is just advanced right now with with the way it looks and stuff. You saw the so. new season? Yeah, I was the whole new season. It's crazy. Oh yeah, wild. Any uh, one final uh, message to the uh, blessed fans out there? Thank you guys all for the support. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you guys tune in UFC 300 live on pay per view, and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be someplace where you guys are gonna remember where you guys at. So don't miss this fight. You heard the man, Max Bless Holloway, everyone. That's all I got. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man.